I'm Claudia K, and welcome back to my channel. So, have a little haul, and um, if you are new to me, I am recovering from shingles. Got shingles about a month ago, and then there, I've got this lingering exhaustion, which I didn't even realize was related to the shingles until today. When two different people today, sometimes, you know, things are just meant to be, are like, oh, yeah, that exhaustion is still lingering from the shingles. And I was like, oh. So yesterday I got to two garage sales and today I got to the flea market and that was it. I was wiped out. So I did not get to do any more. I had to pass a bunch of garage sales signs that I was just too tired to stop at. But, you know, got out a little bit. So, you know, we're happy about that. So yesterday, the um, the first garage sale I went to, sweet old lady, so just nice, and she was just trying to clear stuff out, and so I picked up this, made in the USA. Now, I do know that Hallmark, some of the Hallmarks sold these, but I'm not sure if it was a Hallmark exclusive, and this is a pewter two pewter horses. They also sold them with, I think, hummingbirds, um, butterflies, a golfer on this cobalt blue. I'm going to guess 90s just because that's when this cobalt blue was super popular. Again, it was popular way back and then it was popular again in the 90s. But um, I'm always on the lookout for fun mugs to drink out of and to then eventually do a mug sale. So... That one was very cool. And then I got this one because it's pretty. This one's made in Indonesia. Um, then I got this. And it's interesting because I hit everything with the black light today. And I was surprised at the things that glowed with a manganese glow. And if you're not familiar with that glow, it's a ghostly green glow that is a lot less vivid than a uranium glow. Um, and this lit up with the manganese glow. At first I thought it was just crystal. Now I'm thinking that it's one of the better um, glass companies. It's so clear, I thought it was crystal and it's got a nice weight to it. Now I don't know. And it's got this small thumbprint. So I'm probably going to have Nikki look at some of the things that I got today because she's better at identifying the older glass. I'm better at depression era moving forward and she's better at things before depression era. So I'm going to have her take a look at that. But it's a, it's a bud vase and it's gorgeous. No chips, no cracks. I don't know. It's picking up the light like it's crystal. I don't know. But I picked that up. And then I got... This beautiful Nippon hand painted plate. Right there. And so we know that this was made before 1921, so that does make it an antique because they stopped using Nippon after 1921. So, so pretty in the gold. Look how good the gold is still. So pretty. So the other thing that I got from her, I can't show you. You'll see when I finally do my living room tour, was a lampshade. And it it feels vintage, but I could not get anything on a Google search. But I needed a lampshade for the lamp that actually sits here in the corner of my desk, right here. And it's perfect. So super thrilled about that. She had two. The other one was falling apart. So I took the good one. She had them both priced the same. And she goes, don't you need two? And I'm like, no. And I'm thinking, lady, you should throw that other one away. It's really broken. Um, I'm like, no, I just have one lamp that I've been looking for a lampshade for. But So I got that. And then the second garage sale was an estate sale, according to all of the signs they had all over the neighborhood. Number one, they were overpriced on the few things that they had priced. 
And it is always a pet peeve to me when you do not have things clearly priced. It's fine if you want to put everything on a table and put a dollar sign on it. That's clear pricing. You don't have to individually price everything. But to not price a bunch of the stuff and just have it sitting out. And then their prices started at $5 and went up from there. And they had a whole bunch of Avon that was $5 a piece. So... I did a quick circuit around and, and the little bit of glass they had was broken and chipped. So I got nothing at that one and then had to head home because that was the limit of my energy. And then today I went to uh, Ashland Flea Market with my niece, just like we do every time. They do it eight times a year. So this is the one where it's not monthly. So you just have to really watch to make sure that you're not going to miss it. And had a little birthday money to spend. So I got some things for resale, got some things for myself. So I'm going to show you. Well, first I'll show you what I got my brother. He never watches my channel. It was a dollar. That is what an Avon car should be. But I'd never seen one this small. It look, it's little. So pick that up for my brother for his birthday because he collects Avon cars for nostalgia's sake, not, not because they're worth anything. He just likes them because when we were growing up, my dad had Avon cars sitting on his dresser. So pick that up for my brother. And, um, then my mom already, already claimed this. I came across it. I love talking to the people at most of the people at the flea market. And so that lovely couple that I got the tablecloth, the yellow and red rose tablecloth off of, were there again. And so I showed him a picture of the tablecloth on my table and told him how much I loved it. And I did get a couple things from them, I'll show you in a minute. But this lady, a different table, had at one time collected over 200 pictures from tiny to giant. And so she's just getting rid of her, her collection. She also collected elephants and other things. So I got that. And when I hit this with the black light, it glowed with a manganese glow. So I do think this is EAPG glass, early American pattern glass. But my mom fell in love with it. And this will make her fourth, her fourth tiny picture. She likes these little, little pictures. So I get that one from her. And then I got this one for resale, although I'm kind of in love with it myself. It's a little one too, but it's a ball pitcher, a ribbed ball pitcher. I love it. I couldn't identify it because the ones that are listed that I found, the ribs at the top of this rim here went up and down and didn't go the same way as the rest of it. So I don't know, but I fell in love with it. So that's for resale. And if there is something you've seen today that you just can't live without, then go ahead and send me an email and I'll let you know a price. And remember, no glass with class on Monday because it's Memorial Day. And Nikki and I hope that you have a wonderful Memorial Day. Okay, so I think, was that all the glass? Let me check. Yeah, no. No. Okay, so to the thing that I bought myself. Oh, you guys. And I can't wait to tell my friend Jennifer that this is what she got me. And at first I thought, oh, maybe that's like Princess House, which you know I love Princess House. But, you know, I was thinking 1980s. And so I did a, can you guys see the swans? Oh. It's a perfume bottle. Look at the bottom of this. I washed it so that there's some condensation in there. Um, but I was thinking, oh, maybe it's like Princess House, but swans, of course I'm gonna get it. And I get home and I do a, a search on it, a Google search, and it comes up New Martinsville, which I'm not sure about. I found a listing saying it was New Martinsville perfume bottle from the 1930s. But this, I don't know if it will show. Yeah, it's, you can't get the manganese glow. Maybe in a pitch black. Oh, look, there you can. Do you see that? Down between my fingers. The manganese glow in this. Now, manganese 
glow in a glass doesn't always mean that it's um, antique glass because sometimes glass was melted down and reused. So we know that sometimes things will have a manganese glow that are that were made more recently because it was melted down from old bits. But seeing that listing saying this was New Martinsville and then seeing that it glowed, I'm thinking even earlier than 1930s. But again, this is a thing I'm going to have Nikki kind of take a look at, but I got that for me. Isn't it wonderful? Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, then, so back to the lady with the tablecloth. This time she had some brooches out. So I picked up two brooches from her. This one is a Weiss. And if you know anything about vintage jewelry, you know how good Weiss is. And it's uranium. Uranium. So that will be in a future sale, unless you fall in love with it and want to email me. And then, now this one is unmarked. And of course, I just picked it up because of the flowers at first. And I was like, wait, those, both the stones in both of those look like uranium. And I didn't even check them. I bought them both because they were just, I mean, green for my birthstone and then a flower. And I'm thinking, oh, I'll just, if, I'll keep them. I'll keep them because, you know, why don't I need more brooches to add to my 500 brooches? And then I hit it with the black light as we were walking away. And they both light up and I'm like, really need to resell those. Can't keep everything. So beautiful, beautiful. And then I couldn't remember if I had a Joys of Jello. I mean, this is a classic cookbook. And so I thought, well, I'll pick it up. And if I have it, then I can put it up for resale. Um, but if I don't, then it's going to go to my collection. I know I've purchased it before for my niece, but I can't remember if I've got my own copy. So I picked that up and I've got to check that. And then I got this. And I can't identify it. So if anybody, I mean, I'm thinking it's a rice or a noodle bowl, but this swirl, do you see that? And then there's a bird. And it feels, number one, it feels quality. Number two, it feels old. Google image search showed nothing here, but this staining here is what you see in vintage pieces. I don't know. It is stunning. It's this size. So if anybody can help me identify that, that would be fantastic. But it's just, oh, I just love this. I love this. And I almost didn't get it. I picked it up, I put it down, and then she's like, oh, well, what if I go cheaper on it? And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so pick that up for resale. And then the last thing that I got was another thing for me. I got my little ponies for a junk jar. They were 10 cents a piece, you guys. 10 cents a piece. I got 10. <laughs> I'm such a child. I'm such a child. I, my little pony became really popular right after I had grown out of little girl phase. And so I never had my little ponies. I loved my younger sister's little pony, my little ponies though. So, and these are, these are the, the dinky little, I got all 10 of these for a dollar, you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about it. Oh, I dropped one. Okay. So that is my little haul. That's what I got. Um, so no glass, no glass with class on Monday, but Wednesday I will have my coffee chat and a small sale. So I hope to see you there Wednesday morning, 10 a.m. at um, Eastern, 10 a.m. Eastern. And that's it.
thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Tell me what your favorite item was. Remember, be kind. It doesn't cost you anything, and it may mean everything to someone else. Bye, guys.